When a ligand binds to the receptor site on the outside of the cell membrane, the G protein changes conformation and guanosine triphosphate replaces the guanosine diphosphate on the alpha subunit of the G protein. The activated alpha subunit then separates from the beta and gamma subunits. The alpha subunit, with guanosine triphosphate attached, binds to the calcium ion channel, causing the calcium ion channel to open. Calcium ions diffuse into the cell and combine with calmodulin. The combination of calmodulin and calcium produces the response of the cell to the ligand. Phosphorylase activity removes a phosphate from the guanosine triphosphate, leaving guanosine diphosphate bound to the alpha subunit. The inactivated alpha subunit separates from the calcium ion channel and the channel closes. The alpha subunit recombines with the gamma and beta subunits and the G protein recombines with the receptor. Aldosterone is a lipid-soluble hormone that can easily diffuse through the plasma membrane. Inside the cell, aldosterone binds with an aldosterone receptor molecule in the cytoplasm. The aldosterone receptor complex moves into the nucleus and binds to DNA. The binding of the aldosterone receptor complex to DNA stimulates the synthesis of messenger RNA, which codes for specific proteins. The messenger RNA moves from the nucleus into the cytoplasm and binds to ribosomes where it directs the synthesis of specific proteins. These proteins produce the response of the cell to aldosterone. A drug works by binding to a receptor in cells or tissue and activating that receptor to cause a response in the cells or tissue. This is known as an agonist. The ability of an agonist to bind to a receptor is known as its affinity. The ability of an agonist to activate its receptor is known as its efficacy. Some will bind to a receptor but will not activate it and therefore produce no response. These drugs are known as antagonists. The efficacy of an agonist can differ from one drug to another. Agonists that activate every receptor that it binds to are known as full agonists. Agonists that do not fully activate all the receptors to which they bind are known as partial agonists. If you add enough full agonist so that it binds to all the receptors in a tissue or cell, this will produce a maximum sized response as all the receptors will be fully active. The number of active receptors is one of the things that can limit the size of the response. If you add enough partial agonist so that it binds to all the receptors in a tissue or cell, this will produce a less than maximum sized response if the number of receptors is the factor that limits the size of the possible response. However, there are often more receptors on a cell or tissue than are needed to produce a maximum response. These are known as spare receptors and the tissue is said to have a receptor reserve. In this case, adding more full agonist cannot increase the response. But adding more partial agonist will increase the response.